When you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sap. Hi Leos, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Before we start, okay. I had a long night, so I won't be jumping, jumping for joy, okay? Um, but it's extended one. Next is extended two. The 21st is the last day for Jupiter. Well, the 21st is Jupiter webinar, okay? Um, so it's in the description box. Um, there's Q&A, so at the end of the webinar, there's a chance for you guys to interact, you know, if you have questions, I don't know, with regards to things about Jupiter, you know, that's the best time for you guys. So that's the 21st. Friday, I'm not sure where you're watching this, the 20th is a Friday, um, is the last day to get the first part of Venus for free, okay? That's a holiday giveaway for everybody, um, because the February 1st is everything magical about Venus, uh -huh. we'll be talking about that, the second part. So it's also in the description box. Let's begin over here. How are you? Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Let's see what's up with you guys. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what's up with the layouts. And I'm jello like a, a, a mellow like a jello mellow Okay. <laughs> there we go. The layout's up. Okay. Let's see here. Got a five of swords. Okay. This is the. Um, oh my god, I did something wrong. Okay. Um. Because you, you, either you're regretting something, because um, it was someone is vindictive, and there are people who are saying, like, why did you do that? You know, this can be the other person. Um, because look at this. You know, people are saying, like, oh no, what did you do? What did you do? But you could be that person also. What did I do? The sword's up in the air, over there, so arguments and fight. Um, someone used, you know, someone, there was a certain procedure or there is something that you guys were supposed to be working out and then it did, a, it went south for the winter. Mm -hmm. You might be going south for the winter if you're traveling. Mm -hmm. So there's a breakup. That's a five swords. Very egoistic, right? Someone here allowed ego to manifest and death to love. Mm, death to love and you get the lovers. And the strength card. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The lovers and the strength card. So, death to ego, birth of love. But what happened here? Mm. You guys had a fight, uh -huh, and that's a Gemini, it can be. But either someone here is trying to tame you, okay, with a strength card right there, and the lovers is here. It's like, you know that this is your person, you know, it's like, but there's some difference between the two of you, you know. You can be cool, calm, collected, and they're the savage, you know. Um, but the first card is strongest, so it's like, how do we fix this, uh, you know, this breakup, this, this soul tie, you know? You guys have seen each other, you know, moving forward in the future. However, right now, you know, there's separation. Um, you're trying also to, um, to stay calm, even though there are things in life right now, it's um, kind of like troublesome. Um, you know, there's, it's not a happy place where you're at, but you're showing to this person or to everybody that, no, I'm fine, I'm all good, don't worry, this is and that, okay? So, you're, or someone is also doing this to you. Um, someone can be showing up like, oh, I'm fine, you know, it's like everything is going well with my life, and you don't even know that there's a lot of things happening behind, which is that one, look at that, there's a tornado behind it, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like both of you has a um, strong connection with the lovers. When I say strong connection, meaning planetary-wise, there's axis between each of your planets. And uh, normally this is Rahu, K2 kind of a connection with your moon. Okay. So let's see here. Got the magician. Okay. I feel like both of you are manifesting to get through this breakup or this separation. Either they are or you are also. Because someone here is doing the magician way, which is they know what to do. This can be your person. Someone is manifesting you um, in their life. It can be Virgo, Gemini, that's, that's a Scorpio here. They're trying to figure out how they can communicate. 
and what they can bring to the table also here or how you know it's like how can i how can i win the leo back you know this is that magician energy okay be doing that to a person let's see here got a seven of swords but of course there's always lies and deceit and disconnection that's a thing um someone here uh, behind the magician of seven of swords someone is not being truthful if you are manifesting or they are manifesting you back in their life there's some hidden agenda okay not sure what it is but magician of the seven of swords hmm. there's something hidden and they're not telling you or you're not telling them, I want this person back, but I will not tell them why, for what reason, for what purpose. Hmm. That's the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Someone here is trying to take something from you or you from them. There are Six of Pentacles, can be finances related, and the Death card. Okay, Someone here could have been cut off financially, Death card, can be Scorpio. I'm cutting down financial support if you guys are married or there any kind of um, um, coins involved in the relationship. Seven of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, see, they have a hidden agenda why they're giving you attention or why you're going to give this person attention. But someone's going to get caught and they're going to cut off from their life. So by the end of the day, whoever is not being honest, I feel like they're going to be taken out. Mm-hmm. Now, death card is all about new beginning also. So, they could, uh, you could have cut this person off and you're going to start your new life. Or Scorpio is starting a new life already. And that's where they're going. Because they will, they, you know, someone is going to get caught. Let me see. Under the five swords is the hangman. Okay. With the hangman. Okay. With the five of swords. So, someone's expecting, you know, to reach out. But then the other person doesn't. They delay it. Okay, you are this person. It's like, no, I'm not gonna reach out. No, I'm not gonna go for it. You know, like someone is resisting to communicate. Under the lovers is the empress and the page of swords. So you got, you got someone who's heavily stalking their soulmate. Um, but you could be watching them, and you know, it's like vice versa. But the empress is all about um, someone is in um enjoying abundance in life you know it's like the empress does not do anything so if you're observing this person it's like oh they're not gonna do anything mm -hmm. they just heard the empress they're just gonna stand there and do nothing basically and you're watching this person okay because the empress can be a taurus or a libra and this person is just glowing and growing that's them um six of one three two of pentacles so you tried to be busy at the same time you know um you tried to um, just manage the situation, okay? Um, it was difficult for you because you feel like this person is playing you, okay? There's that dishonesty. And then you have your Queen of Coins and the Eight of Wands. Um, either you're manifesting this person, okay, to travel to see you, Eight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. So you're wondering and thinking, how, does it, how can I make this person communicate? Mm -hmm. So that's the magician, what's it? that's what they're doing. And underneath the Seven of Swords, we got a Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Someone was not honest about their feelings, and actually what they were not talking about is love. Mm -hmm. So you or this person was not honest about feelings of love. Either that or they have a family. That's a Ten of Cups. So you will know. Under the Six of Pentacles is a Ten of Wands and a Queen of Swords. So someone here overly committed themselves, can be financially, or you know, doing a lot of um, Ten of Wands. It's like... Um, taking care of the person, like, um, how to say, being responsible. But with the Queen of Swords, someone here is like, okay, I'm not going to be responsible for you anymore. I'm cutting you off. That's the Queen of Swords. Cutting off financial ties also is there. Let me see here. Because it was too much of a burden. Ten of Wands is that kind of energy. Under the Death is the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So as someone broke up with you or you broke up with them, but this is Scorpio breaking up. Someone is so stressed as the other person has left. Mm -hmm. um, so there is, you know, it's like there's this energy between the two of you that is so not clear yet. Is it over? It is. But is it not? It's not, you know. Um, it's not yet certain because um, you've been watching them, you've been stalking them, you know, it's like you're, you're seeing them in the Page of Swords over here because they haven't made a move, okay? And you're trying to tame them by not, okay, making a move also. 
but on their end, they're at the end already of it. It's like they're just drawing the line and they're walking away. Eight of Cups and Nine of Swords. I don't know who's going to be stressed, but someone is so worried that the other person will never come back. Okay? And that's that one. You're going to be taming the beast also to react right now. It's like, I don't want to react. I don't want to respond. I don't want to do anything. And you're just trying to be, you know, to be busy also. Okay? So, I'm going to continue this reading. Leo's, link down there in the description box for the extended. Okay, it's right there, extended one. You can be connected with a Scorpio, via Taurus, Libra, Pisces is here, Capricorn is there, and Scorpio is there, Virgo, Gemini. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi, Leo's. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your 20 to the 21. This is your dailies. Before we start, there was a Six of Cups and there was a Two of Cups in the pre-shuffle. So that's a very, um, that's a strong past life karma kind of relationship that love is involved that is being dealt with right now, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Before we start also, if you, um, if you're a Leo, it would help also if you watch um, the Astrology Transit, especially the Saturn Sun conjunct. Okay, because you guys were the topic over there. It will help you understand also what you guys are going through with your partner. So watch more of our astrology. Have a good day. Until you guys. <laughs> no. Um, watch more of our astrology uh, transit videos. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We just uploaded that one. Okay. Very recent. Okay. 20 to the 21st. And the Six of Cups, Two of Cups says it all with the transit. There we go. It's fast. You can slow. Six of Cups, I told you so. <laughs> I shuffled, guys. You guys saw me. Okay. If I was in Vegas, I'd probably be accused of it. Says like, you pulling the cards. Okay. Well, I pulled it, yeah, but it's IT. Okay. So with the Six of Cups, with the Six of Cups energy, total, it's all mint. Okay. Um, when I say it's all mint, it's karma. When I say karma, it's Rahu. So don't, you know, don't associate right away with love. But with Tarot, there is love. Six of Cups is love. Okay. <laughs> so astrology would tell you soul, you know, soul ties, yes. But the Tarot will tell you how they feel. Okay. And the cartomancy will tell you what they're doing that day. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. The six of cups energy here. So they really feel love with you. It can be age gap difference. It can be a Gemini also. One younger, one older. Um, this is never felt before. It's like butterflies in the stomach. Okay. Five of swords. Okay. Someone is willing to fight for this connection at all costs. And I feel like I don't think that you guys are fighting. It's more of someone is really into you or you're into them and winning. Okay. Five of swords for me right now is a winning card because when you look at it, it's really, well, I'm winning. I'm winning over here. I'm winning. Five of swords. I'm winning. Okay. So um, either you or this person, but I feel like both of you are winning in this connection here. Okay. Still very positive. Okay. Um, because the thing is, if there's no retrograde planet, okay, because Five of Swords is for me is a retrograde card. There's nothing in retrograde, okay. Well, besides um, Rahu K2, which is always in retro. Okay, next, see here, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Okay, let me see what's going on here. So, with the Five of Pentacles, okay, like, of course, both of you can be not talking right now, not expressing their feelings, but of, both of you have already met each other. Um, there is a level also of discomfort as Five of Pentacles is a fifth house debilitation. Um, if you're a Leo, I believe that you are Leo rising, you're going to have a Sag. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, Sag fifth house. So um, you're not dating nobody. Saturn is there. Okay. Saturn and Sun. See, I told you. Oh, that's the reason why you're not dating nobody. Because when we dis when discusses in Saturn and Sun conjunct, you met someone who's, you know, your soul tie. Okay, you have a strong karmic um, relationship here with this person. And Saturn will not allow anybody to come into your life until you dealt with this karma. Yep, until you dealt. Okay, restriction comes in your dating life over here. You want to study, you want to learn, you want a baby. A lot of restriction in your fifth house. Okay, this is your creativity house. Okay, romance also has been restricted because you met someone only after you dealt with this person. Ah, oh, can be a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Okay, with a King of Cups and a Five of Swords, Leo. So this Scorpio energy is like they're in it to win it. The King of Cups doesn't play around, meaning this person has intense feelings towards you. Um, can be very, um, can be too much. You may think you're a fire sign as a Leo. Of course, your sun ruled, but Mars has more fire than sun. Trust me on that one, okay? Because it's raging. Sun is warmth, okay? We don't get burned by the sun here. Nuh-uh. 
Mars will destroy you. Okay? Because it's a destructive force, it follows what the sun asks. So this person has that energy. Do as I told, meaning also. I'm um, very extreme. Okay. Very, very extreme. King of Cups is extreme emotion, extreme feelings. Let me see other the five of pentacles, the full card, spiritual card, okay, giving this new new light, you know. I'll do whatever 50 50 meaning it's just like I'll you know what no matter what danger it is no matter what's going on here I'll take a leap of faith that's the full card um you're also learning right now how this person is towards you but both of you I feel here that understanding each other um, more and more in the connection the full card if you guys have broken up this is about um, um, doing something together and starting anew oh seven of cups if you're dealing with a scorpio let me see this is rahu okay um rahu in their water so it can be in rahu in scorpio rahu in cancer rahu in um pisces okay let me see here what's going on um with the seven of cups this person is bored also they do have a lot of um because this is my bro card look at that one they talk to their bros and then they go like it's like well i've been seeing other people i try to date i try to download that app but i never have met anybody just like the other person they've never had this kind of feelings you have six and seven of cups so the challenge for this person now is to find the ace of cups if they're gonna love you if they're gonna make it a move they like you they do have feelings for you with the Six of Cups immensely, soulfully, but will will they be able to make it to move to a relationship, okay? So that's where we're going to continue here for the extended reading. All right, guys, so everything down there in the description box. Stay tuned for more at Eat, Read, Love, Inc. for what's next. I'll see you guys again. Bye.